Hey, good day, friends. It's uh, Lance Klessig. I'm here today with Ben Daly. We're just outside of uh, Lewiston on one of our stops for a uh, spring cover crop tour that we've put together for the spring of 21. So Ben, I guess before we start, tell us a little bit about what you have going on here, what kind of farm you have. Well, we, uh, we're dairy farmers and we uh, grow our, all of our own forages and uh, we milk about 1,500 cows, close to that. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we're out in one of our fields. Awesome. Awesome. And so you guys have been using cover crops for what, like 15, 20 years, something like that? Yep. I've personally been responsible for the cover crops on our farm for the last 25 years. And my, my dad and my uncle uh, were doing cover crops before that. Awesome. Awesome. And so I know you talked about raising all your own feed. So how many acres of cover crop do you guys have roughly this year, spring of 21? This, this year was, we got 900 acres of cover 900. crop. 900. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. So let's talk a little bit about, you know, we're in a field that was corn silage last year. Walk us through the, the history here and what's going to happen, you know, the next few weeks. Yep. So uh, the field that we're in now, uh, last year was we chopped for corn silage. Mm -hmm. And after, the, after we got done chopping the corn silage, we uh, called up Ag Partners and they air flowed on 75 pounds of rye. And then right after they got done doing that, we came over the top of it with uh, manure uh, uh, worked in. And uh, this is kind of the result of how, uh, how well it worked. Awesome, awesome. So you're injecting manure, kind of using that as incorporating to get the seed yep. going. Sweet, yep. sweet. And it does really look, it's pretty vibrant out here. Yes. There's no doubt about that. Yep. Okay, so tell us a little bit about one couple of your main objectives. Why are you using cover crops? Well, uh, an, you know, way back earlier before we had even the dairy uh, we used uh, this dairy here we we used cover crops just to kind of hold the ground sure and that's what my my dad and and uh, uncle did in mm -hmm. years past but now since we've learned you know over the years uh, what cover crops can do uh, mm -hmm. our main objective is to keep that 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 manure that we inject in the fall uh, and that nitrogen up closer to the root zone sure sure and we did pluck a, a few roots here. Um, it's probably hard to see, but um, you know, these roots are really powerful. I mean, they're doing yeah. a lot of things even be above and beyond, I think, holding those nutrients in, in the profile. Um, you know, they're also gonna make some pretty awesome, for some awesome planting conditions, um, you know, once it gets terminated and things yep. like that. So there's a lot of power in, in the roots. Um, we tend to look at the above ground, but so much of cover crops are, are below, below ground, you know, yep. so great, great. So getting back to this field so you're going to um, terminate this and yep. then probably plant it in the next couple weeks is that right and what are That'll you going to plant correct. to yep uh, so this field here uh, will terminate and then uh, we will put corn back in here in this field on this particular field sweet sweet okay um, and then one other thing I, I brought up before we started the video is you guys don't use any starter fertilizer nope. so your manure acts as your fertility program yep are you having to side dress or anything like that or is that Nope, nope. Uh, all of our ground that we have around here that gets the dairy manure, uh, we primarily just, it's just the dairy manure that we use for all of our fertility. And right now we're ranging between 12,000 and 15,000 gallons to the acre. Sure. And between uh, that application and the second year manure credit that we oh. get, mm -hmm. uh, we're, we got enough fertility for, for uh, corn. Great, great. Okay, and then lastly, I always like to ask, what's one piece of advice that you might offer somebody that's maybe never done cover crops or maybe it's their first time trying it? What's one piece of advice? Stay flexible, I think. Uh, last year, uh, this type of field, we were able to just go across with our finishing tool and plant into it. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, it looks like we'll probably have to spray Roundup and terminate it that way yep. uh, because it's going to get away on us and we're a couple of weeks away at least from from getting the planter out right uh, so uh you know stay flexible one year the 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 year that you do it it might be different than the following year and it might sure. be different than that the year <laughs> after that too right. so just stay flexible sure but i think one thing i'm hearing you say is try it oh yeah <laughs> give it a uh, whirl absolutely. on a few acres yep. just to get your feet wet right. that type of thing yeah okay. absolutely awesome awesome so again just to kind of recap we're out here with the dailies and we're this is one of our cover crop stops for our spring cover crop tour i just want to say hey thanks ben for <laughs> making the time opening up your field and your yeah. farm for people yeah. to come out and and dig look at the roots look at the crops that type of thing so absolutely yeah great well thanks for joining us everyone and we'll catch you on the next video